Hi folks, the um, temperature has been plummeting in the last week or so, but there's actually a bit of rare sunshine, so we've taken the opportunity to get out into the local mountains, and in this case we're going to be walking up the Moyle Winds. So they are sort of a range just behind me, and they're just above a town called Blaine which in, the, in North Wales is very well known for its slate industry, that was the main industry that supported the town, and there's vast slate uh, heaps all around this area. And we're starting off on what's called the Slate Trail, which is a long distance walking trail you can do, which covers a lot of all the slate quarrying industry in North Wales. We're going to follow that for a little bit and then we'll head off onto the Cambrian Way and up over the Moyle Winds. Um, beautiful part of the world, nice to get it on a day when it's not raining. And I'll show you as we go along all the bits of a sort of historic building that was associated with the quarrying. And then hopefully we'll get some good views over um, Cardigan Bay from the top of the Moylewinds. So just ahead of us you can see there's some old um, buildings up there. That's all part of the quarrying and there are a lot of them dotted about here. So we're going to be going up past those buildings and then we're going to be going up left. It's only half an hour after we started off on our journey and the weather totally came in. It's been hailing, um, cloud covers come right over. Definitely uh, four seasons in one day, I think. A bit of hail still here. But this is a lovely old um, building, probably associated with a quarry. It looks actually a bit like it could have been a church. Now, there were quite a uh, religious communities that used to um, work in the slate quarries and I suspect this was part of their the whole culture, sort of the Welsh chapel um, culture was very strong within these small communities. Bumped into an old friend of mine just now, um, just further down the track and he was on his way back down. And he told me that his family many generations ago used to farm in that old farmstead over there. So it's derelict now. Um, all the buildings up in this section on the uplands are all derelict. But at one point in time, they were actually farming up here. And they might have been the community that supported that small chapel. This weather's been quite amazing. It's actually starting to clear up again. Anyway, we've just headed up from that point down there. That's the little church I was in earlier. And then to the left a bit further, you get to where the farm was. And then we followed the track up. And we're nearly at the end of the quarrying operations. And then you can just see in the distance over there now, um, that peak in the far distance is where we're heading to. I'm just in amongst the buildings here now at the top of the quarry there's a lot of old derelict buildings now this section i'm not too sure what it is but it could have been the barracks for the quarrymen when they were up here i'll show you inside there's quite a few sort of fireplaces and it looks like they were divided into very small cubicles um, with their own fireplaces so it could have been where they were barracked or it could also have been just part of the industrial uh, setup where they were keeping warm while they're processing the slate. I'm not sure, but I'll show you that next. So obviously slate was a very readily available material up here, so everything is made out of slate. You can see the big lintels over the hearths and, you know, going up to the chimney breast. And I think, as I say, this may have been where they were sleeping. Um, could be wrong, but certainly they were keeping warm up here. It would have been two floors. You can see where the second floor would have been positioned. And there's a whole row on both sides of these buildings. But, you know, nicely dressed slate, really well made. And these have not been used for, you know, a long time. They're still standing, so it looks really good. So this tunnel extends really deep inside this mountain. It looks like something out of a Lord of the Rings set.
now we're on Moira Heath. Okay, so the next step is to head up that slope to the peak on the right and then we'll follow the ridge to the left towards the other peak and then we'll drop off that peak down into the valley. So that was a bit steeper than I expected. We didn't take the Cambrian way, we just came straight up from the other peak and uh, definitely a bit steeper than the conventional path, I think. Hopefully the wind doesn't interfere too much, but I'm just going to do a panoramic shot from the top. We'll see all of the view from here. So that's the lake near the UK power station, looking down towards Port Maddock, the estuary, clean peninsula, all the way around. There's some guys on the top here marshalling a race. So we've just got to the summit of Moilwyn Bach, which means the Little Moilwyn, um, and that's the last peak we're going to do today. Um, really lovely walk. Um, you just maybe saw the fell runners that are running behind me. They're coming up to the peak behind us now. Um, a special breed of runners, fell runners, to run around in these mountains, but certainly is a beautiful place to do it. So just a quick overview of what we've done so far. That was the first little peak we got to. Went up that ridge, that's Moilwyn Maur, which is the big Moilwyn. Came down that ridge and you can see some courts. And then we went up this one. And we just don't come down off the ridge there in amongst these fell runners. So I've just dropped off the mountain and we passed the lake to my left now, which is called Llyn Stulan, uh, or Stulan Lake and it's actually a hydroelectric plant so the dam wall was uh, built in the 50s on top of an existing lake and it's now part of an uh, existing hydroelectric scheme for i guess for the local villages um, anyway so we're going to be heading down towards Blaine Afastiniog now so Blaine Afastiniog is now behind me and that's going to be where we're going to end um, been a lovely day mixed weather um, but you know nice to be out and we had enough sun to make it a really pleasant experience so if anyone's interested in this part of the world definitely worth considering this hike so hopefully it was interesting to some of you out there to see this part of the world in a bit more detail and once again thanks for watching and i'll see you next time